President Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, and their minions keep pushing to have a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine. But the reality is that is an impossibility. It's an impossibility for a number of reasons. And I think it's worth talking for just a few minutes about the major reasons that a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine can and will never exist. The first reason is really pretty simple. You cannot make peace with people who want you dead. If their goal is not peace, if their goal is not land, if their goal is only for your death, it is an impossibility to ever have a long-lasting peace with them. If we look at the Hamas Charter, what is called the Covenant of 1988, and we look at that charter in Article 7, it specifically says that its goal is the destruction and obliteration of all Jews. It even says that the Day of Judgment, and this is a quote, the Day of Judgment will not arrive until every Jew is obliterated, every Jew is killed, and the few that are left are hiding behind trees and rocks, and the trees cry out, O oh, Abdullah, O oh, Muslim, there's a Jew hiding behind me. Come and kill him. You cannot make peace with people who have that as their primary theology. And it's not just Hamas, let's be clear. Hezbollah, in their charter, which is from 1985, says the same thing. And towards the last part of the end of it, it actually makes the comment that, again, all of the Zionists, all Jews, must be obliterated. The Palestinian Authority, for their part, still has yet to condemn the horrors and depravities of October 7th. These are groups that exist only for the destruction of the Jew, the destruction of Israel. You cannot make peace with that. And we saw it on October 7th, what their real commitment is. We need to remember the words of Golda Meir, who famously said that if Israel, if the Arabs let down their weapons today, we'd have peace tomorrow. But God forbid, if Israel put down their weapons today, God forbid there would be no Israel tomorrow to come back to. So the first reason that you cannot have a two-state solution of peace is that you cannot make peace with those who want you destroyed and killed. The second reason is that you cannot make peace with a nation that isn't a nation. Now, forgetting for a moment about the history of whether there's a Palestine, what it is, etc. If you define Palestine as Gaza on the one side and the West Bank on the other, these are not contiguous, they are not connected, they are not touching. And so, whether it's now or whether it's in a day, a week, a month, a year, or a decade, that chant of from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free, will continue, God forbid. What this means is that by having a Palestinian state in the West Bank, on the east part of Israel, and on the side of Gaza, the west side of Israel, all of Israel, is what they will consider occupied territory. And their goal, again, per their charters, is to destroy it. The third reason, and in some ways, this is the most clear, is to understand that Hamas, and I will use them as the example, is not interested in peace with Jews. It's not interested in peace with the United States. It's not even interested in peace with other Arabs. This is why Egypt is building a wall to keep these people out of Egypt. In the Hamas Charter, it says that the right to Palestine and the entire Middle Eastern region is the right of waqf, W-A-Q-F. This is not a historical right. Waqf means holy possession. The idea is that if something is dedicated to Allah, it is Allah's forever. So since the Ottoman Empire controlled that region at one point, that whole region must be extremist Muslim fanatics. And until that happens, the theology of Hezbollah, the theology of Hamas, and the theology of the Palestinian Authority cannot be met. So these three reasons, the fact that their theology prohibits Israel from even existing, the fact that the land is not contiguous that they are saying they want as a state, and most clearly that you cannot make peace with those people who want you dead, are the three reasons that there is no possibility to ever have a two-state solution between Israel and a Palestine that is defined as Gaza and the West Bank. It is an impossibility. So what do we do? First of all, Hezbollah, Hamas, they must be utterly destroyed. They are devoted to killing, and it is, this, is, this is an issue of Israel's survival, the survival of the Western world. It is not just a battle in Israel. This is a war against the West. But there may be a solution. It's the idea of a three-state solution, and we'll discuss that later in another video. But for now, I think it's just important to recognize that all of 
Biden's and Blinken's machinations. All of this talk of having a two-state solution is only to stop the war right now so that they don't have to deal with it in this election year. But it is not a recipe for peace and cannot be. Rabbi Michael Barkley here at Temple Mir Simcha, wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.